Hi everybody, this is Valentina from The Real Italian Kitchen and today I'm going to show you how to put together the perfect cheese platter. Now, the cheese choice is obviously up to you, up to your taste, but the general rule is to always have a selection that goes from mild uh, flavored cheese to stronger type of cheese. So the first cheese I got, it's a tavoliere and it comes from Puglia and it's a very um, creamy paste cheese made from uh, cow milk. And the second cheese I got, it's a French creamy herbed cheese. This one is also one of my favorite cheese. It's called Boucheron and it's a goat cheese. It's creamy, but the flavor is very intense and you wanna help yourself with another knife to get it off the blade without breaking it because it has a tendency of crumbling. Make sure you clean the blade when you go from one cheese, one creamy cheese to the next one. And this one is a... <laughs> this one is a kind of pecorino that has a germ of parmigiano in it. So the taste is very similar to the parmigiano but it's slightly more creamy than uh, Parmigiano Reggiano. The taste though is starting to get strong and we're approaching the end of our cheese platter. I'm gonna end with a creamy gorgonzola. Gorgonzola is in Italian we would call erborinato and I love it. This one in particular is spicy and it's delicious. When you pair a cheese with a jam or honey, you want the two flavors to balance themselves out. For the mild cheese, I chose a hot pepper jam, which is really delicious and it's just slightly spicy. And I'm gonna put it here on the side for people to try. And then I'm gonna leave the herb one by itself because the herbs already are extremely strong and then they're mixed with the flavor of a creamy cheese. I don't want to create too many layers of flavors. With the Boucheron, I really enjoy a uh, mild taste honey. This is raw, raw honey from the Lancaster County flowers. Apricot preserve to pair with my kind of pecorino and all in small doses. You're not supposed to put a thick layer of jam on top of your crouton and cheese. It's supposed to be just a little taste. And again, I'm not pairing anything with the gorgonzola because I kind of like it the way it is. If you do need to pair the gorgonzola with something, I would advise raw vegetables. So raw carrots, celery is awesome with it, uh, peppers. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this is helpful and I hope you'll experiment with cheese and preserve and fruit and honey soon. Thank you for following The Real Italian Kitchen. Ciao, ciao.